Hi, what's up you guys? This is your girl So with Britt and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today, we are going to learn the basic torso or basic dress slopper pattern making. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys the easiest pattern drafting for the basic torso or the basic dress slopper. Anyway, to learn the pattern making and as well for the mock-up or test towards the end, make it sure to continue on watching this tutorial to see the full creative process. Here are the tools and the materials that I'll be using for this tutorial. Fabric of your choice, front and back bodice slopper, pencil, pattern papers, fashion rulers, fabric scissors, paper scissors, pattern weights, I use stones as my pattern weights, masking tape, measuring tape, and of course, your sewing machine. Now, let's begin our basic torso or basic dress slopper. For the basic torso, we need our basic bodice. If you haven't seen my tutorial for the basic bodice pattern making by Danik Chunman Law, I will put the link up here. First, we need to trace the front and back bodices, and it will be our frame, and it's crucial that we give a little space between front and back bodices to consider the hip line that we will create later. The space between the underarm sides is about 2 to 3 inches, 5 centimeters or 8 centimeters. Make it sure that the side seams are parallel. Label the center front, center back, and bust point. Moving on to step 2. Now that we have finished tracing, we will reduce the length of the back and front bodices by 2 eighths of an inch or 0.5 centimeters. From the waistline of the bodice, mark up 2 eighths of an inch or 0.5 centimeter. And erase the old waistline. Now let's proceed to step 3. Next, draw horizontal lines from the center front and center back. We want to make it sure that both horizontal lines are meeting each other. Disregard the curves from both front and back bodices. And this line will be the new waistline for our basic torso. Next, from the new waistline at center front and center back, Mark down 8 to 8 4 8 inches, 20 centimeters or 22 centimeters. And draw a horizontal line. These new lines represent the hip lines. Next, at center back, center front, at hip line, mark in one quarter of your hip width measurement. For example, my dress forms hip width or circumference is 36 inches and I will divide that measurement by 4 and I got 9 inches. Now, I will use this measurement on both back and front hip lines. Reminder, use your own measurements for this procedure. Okay, let's now move on to step 4. Let's first extend the back bodice dart downwards ending the dart approximately 2 to 8 inches or 6 centimeters above the hip line. Once we're done doing that, we can now redraw the dart and do it smoothly, guys. Since this torso slopper is loose fitting, we want to reduce the width of the front dart by 2 eighths of an inch at the waist. To do this, let's reduce the front bodice bust dart by 1 8 of an inch at each side. And redraw the dart. Extending the dart downwards approximately 2 inches or 5 centimeters above the hip line. We can now redraw the dart and do it smoothly, guys. Now, 
Now that we have completed the darts, we can now move on to step 5. For the side seam, people prefer to curve it, but this time we will do the curving and a hip dart at side seam. From the side seam hip lines back and front, mark up 2 inches or 5 centimeters and draw a vertical line. This will be the dart end for the side seam at hip line. Using your curve ruler, draw slide curves from the 2 inches mark blending towards the new waistline. Do this on both front and back side seams. Now, we have a dart for the side hips. And we are done for the drafting part of the basic torso or basic dress slopper. So the question is, how do we see if the fit of the basic torso looks good on us or our dress forms? For the sewing part, we will use the easiest for our patterns, which is the Princess Line Foundation. Let's start first with the back torso. Simply connect a slight curve from the shoulder back dart to the back dart and extend a line from the end of the back waist dart, like this one. Same procedure for the front, connect the shoulder bust dart going towards the bust point and extend this line until the hip line. And there you go, now we have the princess style line for our basic torso. Next, I will cut out all of the patterns from the paper and I will stick them on a new pattern paper for the sewing allowances. I will use 4 eighths of an inch for my sewing allowances since it's the easiest for me. And now I have sewing allowances on my patterns and it's time to place them on the grain line of my fabric. I chose a linen fabric because why not? Place all the patterns parallel to each other and cut it all through. Now that I have cut all of my patterns on my fabric, it's time to sew this. I will sew the front first, connecting the panels together. Since this is a princess style line, this will be so easy not only for me but also for you guys at home. And this is the front side of the basic torso. All panels are all sewn together. And for the back, since this is a mock-up, I will sew my invisible zipper at the center back first. And then I will sew the back panels together. Completing the back part of my torso. Now that I have finished my front and back panels together, I will sew the two parts at the side seam. And also on the shoulder seam. Completing my mock-up for the basic torso. By the way, press all of your seams open for a clean finish. Et voila! Here's my mock-up for the basic torso or basic dress slobber. This is the front. This is the side. And this is the back. If you guys have noticed, the basic torso is loose-fitted. And that is not a problem. The reason for this is to give movement ease for yourself or for your client. It isn't meant to be tight-fitted. The basic torso can be used for a lot of designs. Imagine what potential designs you can achieve with the basic torso slopper. Anyway you guys, I hope this basic torso tutorial will help you with your upcoming projects. And I hope you like this video as much as I do. And I promise I will post more contents this month. And please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up 
And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, so with with Brit, make it sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. Apiento.